Theater, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning, you. I'm Andrea Jackson with your Orlando Wake Up Call for Monday, October 18th, 2010. Sustained winds around 150 miles per hour with gusts clocked up to 220. They do not call it a super typhoon for nothing. The center of the megastorm is expected to hit the northern Philippines around midday today. The Supreme Court will hand out some big decisions this week. Most anticipated is the word on emotional free speech. President Obama is hosting the big science fair at the White House today. Do not miss your chance to take a look at the next generation of billionaires, no doubt. Gators did not have a good weekend, losing to Mississippi State 10-7, their third loss in a row, a first back-to-back -back loss at home since 1986. And it's also the first time Florida has not made the Associated Press or USA Today coaches poll during the urban era shall we say. Pro football results from the weekend. Brett Favre stepped up for the Vikings and beat the Cowboys 24-21. And Steelers QB Ben Roethlisberger returned to the field with a roaring round of applause after sitting out the first four games of the season because of his bad boy behavior. Steelers beat the Browns 28-10. Rapper T.I. is headed to prison for 11 months. He was on probation for a weapons charge when he was busted for drug use. Despite his good deed this week by talking a guy off a ledge of a skyscraper in Atlanta, the judge ordered him to the Gray Bar Hotel by November 1st. Leave it to Beaver mom Barbara Billingsley died over the weekend at her home in Santa Monica. Everybody's favorite TV mom was 94. The Jackass 3 in 3D made a fool of the competition at the box office with a $50 million debut. Reds came in second with half that. Clint Eastwood's new flick Hereafter opens on Friday. Here's your forecast. Spectacular. Sunny in 83. Nighttime temps in the 60s. That is your Orlando wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson, I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.